next video we're going to continue looking at the node red chord nodes and we're going to look this time at the switch node and to do that I'm going to use this flow here and it consists of uh, several inject nodes, a switch node, uh, three change nodes and a debug node so we can see what's going on. Now the purpose of the switch node is to actually create uh, several paths through our flow so effectively here we've got three paths through the flow because we've got three outputs on the switch node and I'm going to show you how that works. So let's start off with the inject nodes and so this inject node here is just going to inject a simple payload of one and on the topic sensor sensor one and this one is going to do similar but this time on sensor two and inject in two and the one down the bottom is going to do something similar again payload 23 on sensor s23 very simple and it goes into the switch node and the switch node is going to switch them based on the the topic so we're going to be looking for the topic message topic and if the topic's equal to sensor one we send it out onto output one if the topic's equal to sensor two we send it out onto output two and the third case is the more interesting one we're going to use a regular expression here and we're going to match the expression sensors and anything so this stands for sensors anything sensors sensor one sensor two sensor three etc and it switches on output number three and with the regular expression we can tick the box here to ignore the case so if i get a message coming in on sensor one it should go out on sensor on output one sensor two on output two and sensor anything else on output 3 but output 3 will also catch anything for sensor 1 and sensor 2 so to avoid that there's a option here that says stop after the first match so if we enable that option here then anything coming to sensor 1 goes on 1 2 goes on 2 anything else goes on 3 because uh, as soon as we find sensor 1 we stop as soon as we find sensor 2 we stop and we don't find sensor 3 until we get here and it goes out on output 3. Okay so let's run it and make sure it actually uh, happens the way we think it's going to happen. Before we do that the these nodes here so the output here on uh, the switch node is fed into this change node and all it does is to change the payload to output 1 and this is so we can actually see which output it's coming on when we go into the debug node and this one changes it to output 2 and this one changes to output 3 because we're using the same debug node for all switch outputs so this is just to make sure that we know where it's coming from okay so let's deploy it and let's run it so if we inject on sensor 1 then you can see here the payload is output 1 so it's gone that way if we inject on sensor 2 you can see the output is output 2 it's gone that way and if we inject on sensor 3 oh, sorry 23 you can see it goes on output 3 and you can see here output 3 now let's clear that and let's change our switch node and this time we are not going to stop after the first match we're going to continue we're going to check all the rules and let's run it again now this time if we inject on sensor one you can see it goes out on output one and it also goes out on output three so it dropped through these rules here it found the first one sent the output and it carried on going and found the second one and send it on the output which is what we expect so let's just go back and take a more detailed look at the switch node and you can see here we can switch the message property the topic whatever else is in the message payload we can also switch on the flow and the global and we can also switch on an expression I haven't tried that one myself and we can create multiple options we just add there and we can create another output node here and when we're looking for a match we can use the equals not equals 
is between uh, false true etc and we can also use some sequence rules again I haven't done that and Jason Arter expression and I haven't tried that one either but it's quite a powerful set of options here remember if you need to find out more information about any node uh, including the switch node if you highlight that node and you can see it highlighted here then you click on the information tab over here on the right hand side and it will show you more details about that node and how it's used okay that brings us to the end of the video if you've got comments on the video then please leave them below if you like the video then use the like button below and if you want to be notified of new videos to the channel then you can always subscribe and if you are a user of social media and you'd like to share it on social media then feel free until next time goodbye